Hi, you found me. It's Jennifer, and this is Water and Fire Tarot. Welcome, Leo. This is your reading for the rest of July. Let's see what comes out. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Leo. Hope you guys are doing well. If this one does hit home, the link to the extended reading will be below. We're going to find out how your person feels about you, Leo, whomever's on your mind. If this one doesn't hit home, check out your rising or your moon sign. Stick around to the very end of the reading. I'm going to tell you how you can get a little goody from mom here. All right, let's check it out. Coming into the current moment, what do we got? Well, you, you're right out of the gate. There's your major arcana, Leo energy. What's the influence to the strength card? Uh-oh, the 10 of swords. All right, what's on your mind, Leo? What's going through your thoughts? The King of Swords. Might be connecting with an air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. What happened in the recent past? The Ace of Wands. What's the reason for the reading? What's in the foundation here? Oh, we've got a King of Cups. We've got two kings right in between you, Leo. What's going on? Coming into the near future, what will you experience? The Emperor, Aries, Major Arcana. A lot of people showing up here, Leo. You might have a couple options. Typically, my readings are love, not always. I mean, I try to hit on all areas, but how do you see yourself right now? What are you up to? The star in reverse. Major Arcana for Aquarius. That King of Swords can be Aquarius as well. All right, let's scoot you down and over. All right, what's in your environment heading in that you don't see yet? You've got the moon in reverse. Everything will be revealed. Something's coming out. Pisces energy. What's going on in your emotions? The Eight of Pentacles. And what is the outcome, Leo? What can you expect? You've got the Five of Cups. I don't know that that's necessarily your Five of Cups. You know, sorrow, regret, right? Disappointment, missing someone. You've got a King of Cups here in the foundation. Somebody loves somebody. In this reading is what it looks like. All right, let's see what's going on here. So Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You may have a decision to make. You may have more than one person after you, but that King of Swords and the King of Cups could be the same individual too. That King of Cups can often just, you know, represent somebody that's just madly in love, right? You know, they can be a little emotional. Maybe this person has water and air in their chart. You, you're holding back from someone and ending something here, or you feel hurt, or there's hurt or an ending going on here. You might even be cutting somebody off with that King of Swords. Uh, you see yourself as the star in reverse, so you're, you don't have a whole lot of hope or faith here in a situation. So let's see what you're gonna ex you can expect throughout July. I just saw the King of Pentacles. They're all kings which are showing, which, you know, for mom here, that just represents somebody that's quite mature. But let's see what's going on. Sometimes I say a bad word or two, and if it's offensive, hard left. But I hope you guys stick around and get your message. All right, what does Leo need to know from now through the end of July? All right, let's do it. Don't forget to hang out to the end. I'm going to make a couple announcements um, that you may want to hear. In fact, I know you're going to want to hear it. All right, coming in, we've got you. You're in your element in the upright. You've got the strength card, so that's your energy, Leo. It really is. Three of Pentacles in reverse. There's more than one person involved here. And I feel like you're holding back because they're one of these individuals you don't want to work with anymore. You don't feel like discussing, collaborating, building. Hermit in reverse. Some of you are dating someone new, and then you have somebody from the past that's trying to reach out. Or for some of you, you're, you still want to kind of return to somebody, but you have somebody else here that's interested, something like that. Why is this Ten of Swords here? It's influencing the reading. Oh, okay, King of Cups in reverse. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. So it could be that a water sign hurt you or maybe somebody that was just quite manipulative. It could even be, you know, somebody's closed off their emotions in this connection. Okay, we got a lot of people showing here, Leo. What's on your mind is the King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Chris, and the Page of Cups. A lot of you want an air sign to reach out and apologize, perhaps. You might even be moving towards a newer connection. They could have air in their chart. Yeah, I'm getting there's options here and some there, you had an ending with someone, but maybe they're not over you. And it could be that you're not over them. What happened here in the recent past? 
you have the ace of wands that's your fire energy and the star in reverse see somebody still is attracted it's like wanting this new beginning but with the star in reverse it's kind of, for me it feels very much energy of well that ship has sailed you know we there's no healing a connection here maybe it was just physical even what's the star in reverse yeah temptation here capricorn energy it could have just been about the boom boom or again you know the devil can represent some sort of toxicity you know somebody was stuck to somebody or somebody had an addiction just wasn't the most healthy of habits perhaps you know the situation why is everything happening in july you've got a king of cups leo and the seven of swords what this person may have hurt you in the past, but I feel like they love you. I know, I know. How do we hurt the ones we love, Leo? How do we? Seven of Swords. Nine of Swords in reverse. You might just be avoiding this person too. Listen, you either have somebody new that you're moving towards and you have this other energy that's not over you. And you're just like, oh, they gave me a headache. I don't want to deal with them. They hurt me or whatever. Yeah, they're in love with me. Great, says Leo. But there's another energy here. You may even want an apology from someone so that you can move forward. Coming into the near future, you'll experience a emperor, Aries energy. What's this about? Okay, the death card. Yeah, see, somebody wants to establish control, regain stability in a situation, nurture. That emperor is all about, you know, being a daddy. Husband energy is the divine masculine and the lovers. Yeah, there's a choice. You're going to have a choice between a couple people here. Here, somebody you've already dealt with and somebody new. What are you going to do? What are you going to do, Leo? That page of cups on your mind with the king of swords, this could be a newer connection. Or you're involved with somebody new, but like somebody else's, like there's like this return energy here. All right, you see yourself as the star in reverse. Maybe you feel like you aren't completely healed from one connection. Yeah, see, decision, I knew it, two of pentacles. Yeah, you don't know what to do. You're like, ah, shit. I know I'm not completely healed from one person, but then I have this other option. Coming in uh, with that emperor and the death card, this is what you'll experience in the near future. It could be somebody wants to just go through a complete transformation. It could represent also an ending here with this emperor energy you're trying to regain control somebody's still trying to nurture the connection and then here comes a choice with the lovers gemini energy between two people i said that at the beginning and you're going back and forth if this isn't hitting home yet july's not over so keep that in mind you could hear from somebody that you've had a lot of painful kind of history with um but there's also a new energy here what are you going to do, Leo? Leave in the comments because mom here wants to know. What's in the environment coming in that you don't see? You've got the moon in reverse. All will be revealed. The moon in reverse, Pisces energy, and the five of cups. Somebody's going to get let down. There it is. You've got the five of cups in your emotions. Too. Oh, no, you've got the eight of pentacles in your emotions. We've got the five of cups in the outcome. Now, this is what's coming in um, from your environment. Somebody, there's this energy of it's either the new person or somebody you've already had some kind of painful history with. They're going to reveal that they're sorry, they're regretful, they're disappointed. But I think somebody gets let down, one of these people. What's going to happen with this Five of Cups? What's this about, Leo? Two of Wands because of a decision. You might even leave this person kind of hanging a little bit. Decision, decision, Two of Pentacles, Two of Wands. So this two of wands says you, you're going to have to take action towards one of these people, but you're going to wait a minute. And here's your fire energy. You're like, can I get a minute? Because I got to decide what's best for my future. I'm not acting on anything yet. And remember, coming in, you're holding back from somebody. They may have already returned or they're going to return. But you also have new energy. What's this page of cups on your mind? King of swords with the page of cups. Why is this on Leo's lioness mind? What is it? Oh, the water uber has been stalled. There's the chariot in reverse. Cancerian energy. Yeah, you're very confused, Leo. It's like the start, stop, start, stop. Something has come to a complete halt. You don't see victory or success. You don't see any forward movement. You feel like it's stuck. 
I don't know why. I feel like for some of y'all, this is a new love offer and you're still dealing with someone else and you don't know what the hell to do. It's going to be confusing times. In your emotions, you're feeling the Eight of Pentacles. Why? Four of Wands. Fire energy, Leo. That Four of Wands is, you know, stability, obviously, joy and happiness. It can be a new beginning. A commitment marriage all that kind of stuff in your emotions there's you want to put work and effort or you want somebody who maybe you were already hanging with you were with a in a relationship or something like that you still want to put work and effort into that relationship or they do you this is showing in your emotions what's this four of wands about what are you gonna do Leo what are you gonna do what's this four of wands it won't be a dull month for you that's for sure and the wheel. I think a lot of y'all are waiting for someone to commit or to take the relationship to the next level so you feel a little bit stuck because you've had your sights on manifesting that and wishing upon that and wanting that and it hasn't happened. Some of you in the recent past even maybe went out on a date or had some sort of spark with someone, but after it was just kind of like wah, 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 kind of like a rebound. Mm, for some of y'all, you have a rebound. But whomever you're stuck on or whomever's stuck on you, that energy is still here as well. But the outcome, Leo, we have a five of cups. What's this about? So why is this five of cups here in the outcome for Leo? July, what's going on? Five of cups, ten of wands. Somebody gets let down. You will make a choice or a decision here with one of these people. Oh, and it's a burden. Sometimes the Ten of Wands can even be you feel shame. Like he's not even showing his face because he feels bad, right? He feels bad for one of these people. Coming in from your environment, you have that Five of Cups too. Why? Well, because there's a choice you have to take action towards. And it's you're just kind of pausing. You're waiting to see which way you want to go. What action do you want to take towards what person? I'm getting Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I'm getting Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces quite a bit. Maybe an Aries. I got everybody showing, but somebody gets let down. What's this five of cups with the 10 of wands? Why is this the outcome? And the eight of swords in reverse. You'll finally free yourself from that burden. You've got closure with that 10 of wands, this heavy decision, this action that you need to take towards somebody here. Two options, which way are you gonna go? You'll finally, towards the end of the month, you're gonna start finally feeling a little bit, you know, free. More so in your on your mind, right? With through your thoughts. What's this eight of swords in reverse? Six of swords in reverse. You might go back to the person you've already dealt with, Leo. Yeah. Like something hits you, it's like a like an aha moment, almost like a tower moment. It could be that somebody reveals something to you, how sad they are, how sorry they are, how much they miss you. And then that's what gets you out of that ten of what you're like, all right, here it is. That's my decision. That's what I need to do. It's, I almost feel like unfinished business, even though we don't see the world in reverse. But one of these lucky chaps or lucky girls, I, you know, I smirk, I'm kidding, but somebody's gonna get let down. What do we need to know here? What else in the outcome? The page of swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. There could be some sort of communication, a text, an email, um, you know, a, a DM. I mean, do people still DM? Yeah, I guess they do. But with the Page of Swords, this could be some sort of electronic message that comes through that kind of makes somebody a little angry. Page of Swords can be a little hurt, you know? He's a little little not happy. What's this Page of Swords? Ooh, Libra, Gemini, yeah. Look what just flipped out, the Five of Pentacles. You might be leaving an air sign out in the cold. Doesn't matter who it is. They're gonna be kind of like, hmm, what's Leo up to? I wonder why they're all of a sudden not interested or not responding. It's because there's another energy here that is tickling your fancy, Leo. And I think you've missed this person. For some of you, you'll go towards a newer love interest and it's the old person that you're leaving out in the cold. But bottom line, they're not gonna be happy. They're gonna probably even like look at your social media and be like, is Leo with somebody else? Why, you know, what's going on? It's that kind of curiosity that leads to, well, sometimes stalking or spying. You just never know. I don't think they'll be hiding in your bushes, but you know. In the extended reading, we'll see who pops out. Is it this person that's going to be angry because you're leaving them out in the cold? Or is it the new person? Whose feelings are going to come through? We're going to check it out on the extended reading. 
big announcement. Also, once a month, I go live, I run a contest, and I pick a winner. What winner? I pick a winner. I pick a winner randomly. If you want to enter to win a free reading from mom here, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, comment below that you'd like to enter for the free reading. And when I go live mm, around August 1st, you could be the lucky winner. So if you wanna enter that contest, let me know below. You can enter as many times as you want on as many videos as you like. Speaking of like, I would appreciate it if you would like, share, and subscribe. Leave your comments. I read all my comments. I wanna know what's going on here. Some of you, this hasn't even happened yet, but I love reading the comments as long as they're nice. And if they're not, I just block you, so. There's that. If y'all need a private reading, all of that info is below in the description box and I also have everything pinned in the comment section. Everything you need to know about the channel and my website. I am wishing you lots of love. In fact, Leo, I love you hard. Love me hard back and I'm gonna see you over on the extended. Take care.